Hi all, welcome to this Logic Apps uh, learning series. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can run your stand, uh, Logic Apps standard in the container environment. Uh, so this is, uh, we are going to start it from the scratch. Uh, I'm going to develop uh, a simple application first in uh, v using Visual Studio Code and create it and build it using Docker. I have a Docker desktop uh, installed on my computer. So I'm going to build it locally and push the images to a container register in Azure. Then in Azure, I'm going to pull that image and create pods. So uh, this is a this is a basically a demo um, from the scratch, right? So I'm going to create a app first, a logic app first. Create a new project in this location. It's going to be a status workflow. Stateless. The name itself is stateless. Once it's fine creating a new project, it's done. Opening a new folder uh, folder view and right click. Open in designer. It'll be a pretty simple one. Request trigger and the response it's going to be constant response would be a constant save this this app and in order to build the Docker image, we need a Docker file which I'm going to copy it from here. Add a Docker file into the root uh, directory, vcaps, Docker file, that's it. So this Docker file is having one name, which is this one, is, is a very important one. So let me store this application. So this guy here is referring a storage component, a storage account, um which is this one so exp moments api will have will create one more folder like the, in the name of website name and inside that we will be seeing a secret host uh, secret host that json file uh, we will use that uh, master key in order to consume the services so so we are good to go and build the service. So open the new terminal. I'm saving all the data. Save control S. Everything is done. So very simple application. Now we're gonna build this. Build it. Need to check this docker is not in the root directory if you see i'm going to move it to root directory and now try this make sure this your the docker dot desktop uh, docker desktop is running fine mine is running fine so i think it's been spilled pretty quickly now we need to upload this image so the image is ready you can see the images here Go to image. So this is the image we have just built it less than a minute ago and now I'm going to upload this image in my image repository, which is nothing but uh, your Azure uh, repository. Let me go back to Azure here. This is my Azure container registry in that one. I don't have any repositories if you see. Now I'm going to build it so that it will upload the data here. So in order to upload in the, into the right ACR, first I need to perform AZ login. I'll open a default browser so that we can log in. Okay, this is done.
after that we need to tag this image against this uh, Azure repository this command helps to log in uh, into the Azure container registry so we have logged in and also I'm logging inside the Azure directory sorry Azure repository now I will tag my image so this is my image name I will tag against against the against the container registry so and now I'm going to push it the very final step did I log in yes I've logged in so the last very last one is okay. push it to this this will take a while because this 1.5 GB of uh, file will be the image which contains all the docker dependency it will be uploaded here in the registry so once this is successful we can create a container instance where So while it's uploading, we can go back, go back and explore this option. So this is the container instance, which is a serverless um, feature in Azure where I can upload any image and create parts. It is it, uh, ideally we usually we create Kubernetes instances, right? Um, using managed Kubernetes or uh, in Azure or Google or Google, right? So this this is one is a serverless one once it is uploaded and available in this repository I'm going to create this way so I'm gonna fill this form uh, my own container there it is 24th and from so once you have it so this is my container registry right now it is not having anything so once it is successful it will be available now after that so this one this is the size of the cpu available for this uh, deploying this uh, registry and it's going to be publicly available one so since it's a public, publicly available one the ip will be allocated so that the public address address we can take it and <coughs> access our api yeah a while so we are going to access this way uh, we are going to use this URL and and pull the trigger like this so the once the trigger is like this then so for this one for this URL I will have a code so in order to get this code that's where we are going to use this uh, Azure storage account so if you open the blob container you will have a secrets in it so previously I had this name so that is, that is why this host will have that name of the one to show in the postman This is almost done. Okay, this is done now. Go back to the uh, the, this is the container registry and it has some images so I'm going to use this one let's say 
let's do it again home create a new container instance let me have my own resource group my own 24 not 25 so this is my container registry it's coming from, this image is coming from there let's straight away go review and create it i i found this one is hassle free uh, one because it is straight away it's not it's not asking to create a yaml file in order to deploy this uh, application into kubernetes so in, in the other way we might have azure the managed kubernetes that in that that one will have will ask you for the deployment that is that is even straightforward way which will ask you where is where is your code is then from there it takes it i i'll show you that in the next video let let it deploy here yeah. So while it's deploying, let's explore this option. Refresh all. BSDS. The secrets, it's, it's getting deployed. So it should create a folder with this name, container instance logic app. That one might be able to see a host file like this so this host, host file was created yesterday night and this will looks like this one so this key is the one we needed for, uh, and we use it as a code if you see this is same your iwn this one so we we need to wait for our turn uh, this this has to be created and deployed this will take a little time so here you go <coughs> As I just mentioned, this file, uh, the folder has been created, and the host.json is also created. Let's switch the connection from here, code from here. So, this will be used to pull the trigger URL of this API. This is done, and we need to get this IP and put it here. Okay, the deployment is successful going to get the IP from here the public IP yeah. okay the workflow name was different it was it was one Okay, the e is e missing. Here you go. So this is the URL which we have to use to pull again. I'm going to use it here and send this payload. So here you go. So this application is running in uh, Azure container now. So this is a stateless uh, URL. So I'm going to give this URL uh, for both in order to pull the images and in order to pull the uh, retrieve URL. 
and this is the actual API URL and this is how it will look like in Azure containers. Hope that helps. Uh, I didn't miss any steps, hopefully. So if you see, only this Docker file is having this uh, images. So let, let me show you a few things. And in the container, you can see the logs here. If you see the latest log, this will show you what is successful here. The status is succeeded, this thing. And a few important things, you can connect inside the bash and see how it looks like in the container itself. So I'm going to include C, let's put ls, cd home, in, uh, not bin, site. This URL I know because I'm using it in the Docker file. This is basically an Azure Functions runtime. So that, that is what we are hosting it here. So if you put ls, then is your local settings and uh, your stateless application is here workflow is here state stateless one cat workflow Oh, okay. How how you will fetch this URL from the URL from for this web job storage? Once you create a storage account in Azure, you will be saying this way. So you can open it and select the storage account. And oh, this is a Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool that you need to install and get the primary string from you. That is how I got this primary string. So if you have everything correctly, and uh, this is a pretty simple uh, demo. Otherwise, you will be struggling. I have struggled by referring various uh, different version of, uh, for example, previews and standard. Now the standard is available for general for general availability. But previously, people used to, um, uh, had different version. For example, it was having a CS proj file, which was not needed at all. Uh, but if you refer this GitHub um, Microsoft one, that will re that will lead you in a different way. So that was one of the one of the thing, and uh, but and also the website name was um, significantly important too. And uh, and that's it. I think this this will help you. The next video should be in uh, manage Kubernetes itself. See you soon. Thanks.